but I was changed. Amen. I had been transformed into a new creature. Amen. I had not been the same. Have I made mistakes? Yes, I have. Not the same ones, thank God. Amen. Amen. But I can tell you this. Amen. God's a keeper. Amen. Amen. And he wants to keep you. Amen. And will keep you. Amen. And he'll satisfy you. Amen. He'll provide your every need. Right. Amen. He's here to take care of you tonight. Amen. Amen. You just got to fall before him. Amen. The Bible says if you come to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit in no wise shall he turn you away. I remember I went up there and I said God this is what God spoke to me before I walked up there. He said if you'll come up here and give me your life I'll give you mine. Amen. And I stood there and I thought man I need help. And I heard this spirit say you can't go up there right now it's the middle of service. <clears throat> and I thought, man, I need help. I'm going. Amen. I don't remember walking up there. I remember when I got there, amen, I had laid, knelt down and laid my head in my hands. And I remember thanking God for everything that I could think of. My two girls, everything I'd had. I mean, just all the good things that I'd had through life. I, I remember thanking God for that. Hadn't got saved yet, but I was on my way to get a salvation. Didn't know it, amen? But I'll tell you, amen, there were some things took place up there. But God let me know that he was real and he was in the house, amen. Things took place. There was God told me to sit up on my knees. I was raised... And I'm not a denominational preacher. We're non-denomination here, amen. I'm not against any denominations, what I'm saying. But I was raised up in a United Methodist Church, amen, when I was growing up. And I'll tell you, I, I slept on the pew. <laughs> I didn't listen to nothing. I just had to go. I was grounded all day, amen. Now, my mom and daddy met well. But they just, you could hear a pin drop in the service. I mean, it was, a, it was so routine, right? Man, I just didn't sleep. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't raise their hand, wouldn't praise the Lord. I mean, you'd never hear nobody shout, or you'd have 15 minutes of this, 5 minutes of this, 10 minutes of that, and you're out the door. Amen? Never knew what the Spirit of God felt like until that night. God came in and began to shake me, amen, as I was at that altar, amen. I felt a big pressure come over my chest when I lifted up my hands. He told me to sit up on my knees and to lift up my hands and praise him. I'd never seen anybody praise the Lord before in my life. Been in church my whole life, amen. But I'll tell you, amen, I sat up on my knees and I lifted up my hands. And when I did, I felt the Spirit of God come on me. I started shaking so hard my hands hands began to shake like this. Nobody was touching me. Amen. God was letting me know that he was there. Amen. And I'll tell you, I got so scared, I began to holler, please, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Please, Lord, help me. I didn't care what anybody else thought. I didn't know what was going on. But I knew I needed help. Amen. And I can tell you, I felt a big pressure come over my chest. Amen. And I believe to this day that that was God's finger. And he just touched me and took that drug out of my body right then and there. I began to fall back with hands and grabbing a hold of my back, catching me. Amen. And I'll tell you next thing I know, Brother Couch was right there. I opened up my eyes, tears began to run down my cheeks, and Brother Couch was knelt down there in front of me and had his Bible. He said, Dick, would you like to ask Jesus to be Lord and Savior of your life? And I tell you the best feeling I ever felt in my life come all over me. Amen. And I said, I sure would, but I don't know how. And he led me through what we call sinner's prayer. Amen. And I repeated after him and asked Jesus to come into my life. And I walked out of that church. I was drug free. Amen. I didn't cuss anymore. Amen. I didn't want to hang out where I used to hang out. I didn't want to run with the same old crowd that I used to run with. Amen. I'm telling you, he turned me around. Amen. He turned my whole life upside down. Amen. And he changed me. Amen. I've not been the same since. Amen. I can tell you, amen, if he'll do that for me, he'll do that for you too. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. Let's give him a hand clap tonight. Amen. He's a deliverer.
security guard, Joey. I don't know you, Joey, but you've been down that road. Amen. And I'm telling you, I heard God was telling me that what you was going through because he's got you in a time of preparation. He's preparing him for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. And there's others in here like Joey. They feel like they're on the sideline. Amen. But you've not been put on hold. Amen. You're in the best place you could ever be in. Amen. You're in the arms of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, there's a song that I like to sing. I'm not going to sing, amen. <laughs> Told you I wasn't going to hold you longer, done held you longer than I thought it was, amen. But it says, sheltered in the arms of God. Yes, not a better place to be, Joey, right. than right there, amen. God's a good God, amen. amen. He loves each and every one of you. I want to invite you again to revival. Come be with us, amen. I'll guarantee you, if you ever heard Brother Couch or never heard him, you'll be glad you've heard him, amen, if you come, amen. And I'm not saying that because of him or because I got saved under his ministry. He just lives what he preaches, amen. And that's what it counts, amen. That's where it counts, amen. We've got to be real, amen. Because the, the world is real, amen. I'm telling you, you live in a rough and long, hard, dying world, amen. You're going to encounter things, amen. And you're going to go through things, but you don't have to go through them alone. That's right. Jesus will be right there with you, amen. We want you to come be in revival with us. Let's give glory echoes another hand clap, amen. Praise the Lord. Remember, tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 6 o'clock, Come be with us. Everyone be careful going home. Everyone dismiss in the name of Jesus.